Okay. Okay, guys, uh, welcome and thanks for joining us um, today on this very nice day. We, like, like we said, we really appreciate the dedication. Um, I won't keep you too long. All I'm going to do is basically go over, um, go over the Masters in e-commerce, the program, and talk to you a little bit about what that program involves in terms of um, the modules and the time commitment and who should apply for the program. So both in terms of your own academic background and I guess your interests as well. And I'll touch a little bit on the job opportunities that we see coming up for our graduates. Um, at the end, I'll take any questions you have and obviously I'll be available on email as well. So a brief introduction. Um, my name is Grace Fox. I did MECV, that's what we call the Masters in E-Commerce. I did MECV uh, see, if you have to pause to see when it was, it, it's too long ago, but I did it um, many years ago myself. Um, and then I did my PhD in information privacy in DCU. I'm an assistant professor of digital business in our business school in DCU and the program chair for MECB. So my contact is there, gracefox at dcu.ie. Feel free to drop me an email if you have any questions at all. And my LinkedIn is there as well, just in case. Okay, so a bit of a background, I guess, to the program. MECB started in 2001, and the whole idea was that we needed to have graduates who both understood the technical aspects of e-commerce, but also understood the business aspect. So um, it was developed in conjunction with the business school and the computing school in DCU as a dual delivered program. It's still and um, that way today, delivered from both schools. We have two branches on the program. I'm talking about the Masters in E-Commerce business, so the business side of it, but there is a technical sister program base in the computing school. We've had over 800 graduates now, so there's a well-established pool of alumni there for you to link in with, should you do the course. So, hold on. One second. Okay, yeah, so what I want to talk about today is basically, like I said, what does this program involve and who should apply for the course? And then I'll take some questions at the end. So what is e-commerce? I'm sure all of you know what e-commerce is. Um, but basically, when we talk about e-commerce, most people think of the buying and selling of goods online through any online device, which would be pretty correct, but would also be quite simple. Um, so in the Masters for E-Commerce, we're unpacking what that means and looking at the whole ecosystem in e-commerce. We want to look at the customer side of things. What's their experience on our website? How do we design websites that are really usable, that customers will enjoy using and will be able to work their way through and make orders? And then what does it, do those orders trigger on the back end? So what are the technical sides of the e-commerce stack? And how do we develop our own e-commerce websites? As well as that, what are all the other business considerations we have to be aware of? So what are the ethical considerations when you're designing an e-commerce site? What are the marketing considerations? And everything in between, really. So why should you study e-commerce? I think, and I've, I've been saying this to my students, this year's students a lot the past few weeks, I actually think this is the best time to study e-commerce. Um, because we're still seeing huge growth um, in e-commerce sales, despite this global pandemic we're in the middle of. So, and what you've probably seen yourself um, before uh, in the past few weeks is that a lot more people are shopping online and a lot more small businesses are going online. So you can pretty much get everything online now. We thought you could do that before, but <laughs> this situation has shown that even some small companies are now moving online. So it's great to see. There's, even, despite this economic recession that's being predicted and that we're gonna enter into, we're seeing huge growth in e-commerce sales around the world. So in the past year, there's been, uh, from April last year to April this year, there's been over 100% increase in e-commerce sales in the States. So that is a huge potential market for e-commerce graduates to tap into. In Ireland then, on the other side of it, we're seeing this continual growth in e-commerce penetration. So the number of people who actually shop online. So we're seeing that we can reach different groups of people who may not have 
been so quick to adopt e-commerce. That opens a whole host of opportunities for students as well, um, and a whole host of different considerations for different consumer types. So on our course, what do we study? So if you complete this course, you'll focus on understanding customers' preferences and their online behavior. So how can we predict those behaviors and how can we understand them? And how can we influence them based on how we design our websites? How we can develop data-driven e-commerce and marketing strategies. So what's the power of data that we hear so much about and how can we leverage it in the, this context? How can we look at processes in between it all? The processes to deliver goods, the processes to design websites, and how can we better um, augment online shopping experiences? What are the new technologies out there that we can leverage in the e-commerce context? So another thing, what the e-commerce or the, the global pandemic has shown is that existing e-commerce companies need to innovate, right? So they need to see how can we leverage technology better to make our websites stand out to differentiate us from our competitors. So we touch on a lot of the emerging trends from a technological point of view, but also from a business point of view. Also, we focus a lot on the new trends in e-commerce. So some of these you might have seen um, in the last year or so, but they're gonna obviously continue to take off, I'd predict. So things like the emphasis on slow fashion at the moment. So what does that mean for how we design our websites? If you look at the likes of H&M, Zara, companies that we normally looked at as fast fashion retailers, now they're trying to market themselves in some ways as sustainable or as engaging in sustainable practices. So if you're interested in something like that, I'd say go on and look at their websites and you'll see how they label some products as sustainable and the kind of information they're using in that labeling to influence your decisions. Nike as well have a new sustainable range and so stuff like that. So how does that impact um, other e-commerce sites and how does that impact how we develop our sites? Our e-commerce websites. The role of influencers, how do they influence e-commerce sales, e-commerce marketing strategies and stuff like that. New payment methods. So a big e-commerce trend that past year or so has been the move towards the delayed payments. So the likes of um, Clarina and stuff like that where you can buy now, pay later. How will that impact e-commerce as we enter a global recession? So we look at those questions, like I said, from a business standpoint, but also from a technical standpoint. And it's all, like I said, quite relevant at the moment. Okay, so why MECB? Our program was designed for people of different educational backgrounds. Now, when you're looking at the Masters in E-Commerce in the Business School, you should have a business degree. So a broad business background or something quite similarly aligned to that. Because it's a specialism master's, you're not gonna be provided with foundational business um, knowledge. It's, it's more building upon that in this specialist context. If you're going for the MECT option in the computing school, then you should have a technical background. Um, but again, that's not the focus of today's session. Like I said, you get a jointly delivered program. So what that means is you're exposed to academics with expertise in such a broad range of areas across the whole technical scope and across the different business fields. And um, so that's hugely beneficial for students as well. Um, importantly then, throughout the course, you develop your business skills and your technical skills that you need to pursue a successful career in the area of e-commerce. Throughout our program then, in different modules, you have the opportunity to work with startups and on industry briefs as well, so that you can apply the learning from the classroom um, into a real life context. We have a different approach to teaching in a lot of our modules, um, where we have flexible learning opportunities for students. So what we want you to do is to come into this program and say, these are the areas I think I want to focus on and these are the areas I know I need to develop my skills in. And we provide a lot of different opportunities to develop those skills. So this year, the past couple of years, we've done things like um, cybersecurity conferences, cybersecurity hands-on workshops, 
with experts. We've had um, web development conferences designed just for our students. We've had eye tracking workshops where we show students how you can use eye tracking glasses and technologies to understand how customers behave in e-commerce e settings. We've had hackathons and there's been hugely successful hackathons organized in the business school in the past couple of years. So there's so many different ways to develop your skills over the course of the year, in addition to those traditional assignments. So again, like I said, why e-commerce is just a great time at the moment to study e-commerce, given that um, global growth that we're going to experience, but also given that there's interest and trends going on at the moment as well. Okay, so a quick look at the modules um, for semester one. So we do digital business, kind of like a foundational module, um, understanding e-commerce, where it comes from, and the timeline around the e-commerce, emergence of e-commerce to where we are now. We look at different e-commerce business models, e-commerce strategies, and understanding our digital consumers. We have business process innovation, so understanding how we can break down a process and the simplest of processes from ordering something on a website to something more complicated in a, in a huge e-commerce system and how we, we can use different uh, techniques to improve those processes. And then we have management in the networked era, so where we look at um, how we can adopt new technologies um, in businesses and the kind of things we need to look out for to make sure that adoption is successful. In semester one, you also have web design, so where you're learning web development skills from scratch. So we start you with the basics of HTML, CSS, but then we look at how we can develop those sites to be the most impactful they can. So we look at stuff like human computer interaction, what heuristics we need to incorporate into our website to make them function um, as best as possible. We also have a programming <laughs> module, which is quite um, popular by the end of it, but it's a different way of thinking if you come from a business background um, where you have never done programming before. We have this intro mod module right from the start um, and by the end you should be able to communicate with actual software developers or uh, programming projects. <laughs> and then so that's if you come from a business background. If you're, com if you're coming from some more semi-technical backgrounds you would probably do an accounting module instead of programming. So then in semester two, our, our business modules will be innovation and high-tech entrepreneurship. So this is one of those modules where you work with a startup, you're working with a high-tech startup, and basically they're giving you the brief of their business that they wanna grow or they wanna spin out, and you have to look at their business break it down and make recommendations for what they should do next. So should they try sell, should they try lease, and um, should they try spin out or whatever it might be. Then you have risk regulation and ethics in the e-commerce context. So um, this is basically where we look at the whole information risk management program, all the risks facing organizations in this context and how they can address those risks. We look at privacy from a regulatory point of view, but also from a consumer point of view. So how do privacy issues impact how consumers engage with websites? And how can you address those privacy issues? And then if you're from a technical background, you would do finance um, in semester two. On the computing side of the house, we do a module called AI Information and Information Seeking. So that's where we look at those new emerging technologies in detail and look at how we can apply them. So um, we look at things like blockchain, we look at AI, we look at the use of automation um, in e-commerce context and stuff like that. You also then build on from your web design module um, in semester two to develop e-commerce websites, so functional e-commerce websites where you should understand the back end of an e-commerce site. And then you'll do another technical module there, which might be understanding the networks um, and everything behind the internet, or we might be moving to something different this year. As well as that, we have one year long module, which is called NGM. So that's like I said, where most of those flexible learning opportunities come, 
it's a really big module of any of you know anyone who's done a master's in the business school and um, before in DCU so there's four themes where we're looking for you to, to develop your own skills and your own um, competencies they relate to your own career to research to digital and to business and society so there's a lot of interest and opportunities there a lot of workshops a lot of hackathons and um, some people teach computers to older citizens stuff like that so there's lots of opportunities provided by us but it's it it's a journey a learning journey directed by you then what we have in semester three so it is a year-long um program from october 5th to the end of august usually so semester three is when you submit your final assignments or you do your final exams in semester two up until august so we have two options on the MECB program. So what one option is the practicum. So in the high tech entrepreneurship module, you would have looked at all the different elements of developing a business idea and assessing its feasibility. So in the practicum, you work as a group to develop your own and business idea. It has to be digital in nature, it should be e-commerce in nature. And you get to develop the idea, do some research, on its feasibility and present the idea back at the end of the year. The other option is an individual option. So you can study abroad for three weeks, I think it is two to three weeks, where you take an intense two module program that you get to pick the modules of a huge selection. So you might say, okay, I really liked programming or I really liked um, when I did some analytics and, and GM, so I'd like to focus on that and do another module and that. There's a huge scope of modules. So you do those over the two to three weeks uh, period and then over the rest of the summer you write your dissertation. So that's an individual option. The study abroad, I think there might be a couple of locations, but our students tend to go to Ljubljana in um, Slovenia. And that's usually in July. Okay, so I know I flew through that. Um, but that's the high level overview of the module. So why MECB in terms of what um, job opportunities exist out there? My students at the moment are still quite optimistic and um, looking at lots of different um, roles for, for when they finish in August, so that's good. So one route a lot of people take is the business or technology consultant route in your traditional companies, like the likes of EY, Delight, or Accenture, and those companies tend to recruit um, October, November every year. Some people are really interested in retail uh, as an industry and they go down the route of the Aldi or Little grad programs or go into companies like Brown Thomas as e-commerce specialists. There's also some grad programs emerging now in Dublin recently. Um, one of the flagship ones would be eShop World. And um, so obviously that's a great, I think it's a two year program. And um, it's a great introduction to e-commerce and the different specialisms within that, that you could go into. And then we always have a few people who go into the big tech companies. So the likes of Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, whatever it might be. And where they go depends on past experience or depends on something um, that they really liked in the program. So some people go into risk, cyber risk. Some people go into sales, some people go into app development with people everywhere and we also have people in the traditional e-commerce company so the likes of amazon and ebay okay so there's lots going on and um, and as well as that like i said this is a huge um, network of e-commerce grads um, and we do bring them back in to give talks to people and kind of say what path they went down and what roles they they got um, after graduation and where their backgrounds uh, kind of led them. So a couple of bits of advice from past students um, that I pulled together from this year's and last year's cohort. So I'd recommend the course to anyone considering it. It enabled me to add technical skills to my business background. This would be quite popular. Um, a lot of people come from business degrees and want to have more digital knowledge and skills to 
maybe get the job in the company they're interested in. So there's definitely a course that can offer that. Um, commit to the technical modules, they require effort, but it pays off. So yeah, I think this is actually really useful advice if you come from a business background. Um, computing modules do work a little bit different. They require a lot of time each week, but then by the end of it, um, like, like this person says, it can really pay off. Immerse yourself in the self-directed learning, you get out what you put in. So that would be related to the NGM module. So you can really say, look, Grace, I want to develop um, my data analysis skills and you can really delve into that over the course of the year um, and we'll support you however we can. Um, and we've had people who you know wanted to set up businesses or wanted to work in startups so then they focus all their learning on that. Use the year to figure out what you want to do. There's so many options for you. Yeah, so <laughs> I've had some, some students say to me that they taught once they got into a master's, they'd know exactly where to go. <laughs> and after the first few weeks, they were like, well, there's so many different, different ways I can go. And um, that is true. And, and within e-commerce itself, even looking at the job opportunities, there's lots of different places you can go. Um, and you don't need to know at the outset where you want to go. But the fact is, we're giving you these different modules and these different technical skills and these different opportunities to direct your own learning so that you can figure it out over the course of the year. There are a lot of exams, assignments and deadlines. Time management is crucial. Yes, yeah, so I'd also recommend that, but I'm sure you're all great on the time management side of things. Okay, so some of the main questions I tend to get asked um, would be, do I need prior programming language? Nope, not at all. Um, you don't even need to like technical modules. It's just that you need to be willing to learn and to have some interest in e-commerce as an industry but you can have no knowledge and do really, really well. Um, and that's, that's quite possible. What's the workload like? Well, it's a full-time course. At master's level, a lot of the learning is self-directed, so we are expecting you to go off and, and you know, do your own reading, do your own learning. And um, we have some courses that you have to complete online. Um, and there's different workloads in computing and business modules, because sometimes we'd have tutorials in computing more than in business. But yeah, I would say it's like a full-time job, essentially. Um, and that will continue for the three semesters. Who should apply for the course? So basically, um, from an education or a undergrad background, you should have and um, like I said, a business degree or something quite similar to a business degree. And um, before our entry requirement is a 2-1 in that undergrad. We also take work experience into account. And we do uh, brief Zoom interviews with borderline candidates. You should also have an interest in e-commerce and be ready for the commitment. Um, and want to develop those business and technical skills in tandem. Um, okay, so that's all I have. Like I said, that's my 